I will be 100% honest with you. About three hours ago, I was fully prepared to make this my farewell statement. And I came at work. I didn't have a good night. It wasn't a good night, and it was... I thought it was going to be a very good night, but it was not. And a lot of things happened, and... You know, I've not felt like this in a while. And for some reason, I was just feeling like... Giving up on this, and quitting. Even though I don't... I know I've said I never want to, just something inside of me was yelling, quit. But then, I had a thought. Because inside of me, I was thinking, quit. Quit what you love because it's not working right now. And it occurred to me that it is so be into us as a society that we have to do something that works right now. Stability above being happy is what we're told through our entire lives. For my whole life I've been pushed towards healthcare. My mom's in healthcare, my sister's in healthcare. And it's just beat into me and I think everybody that you have to choose a safe job. You have to choose something that's going to work right away. So in the back of my mind I was thinking just quit this, go to college, go into the medical field because it's safe. You won't be happy, you'll be miserable, but at least you'll be safe. And it was one of the most disgusting thoughts I've ever had in my life. That I was prepared to give up something that I loved to be safe. And I think a lot of us do that. A lot of us choose the road that's easiest to be successful in, even if you're not happy. And I'm not health, I'm not happy in healthcare. I don't like my job. I don't. I haven't for a long time. But it pays the bills, and it pays the bills well. To be frank with you, I hate my job. I don't care if my bosses see this. I hate my job. It's not because I hate helping people. I love helping people. And the help that I give people and making them laugh at work and just putting a smile on a sick person's face is the best feeling. But I hate my job. This isn't what I want to do. And it took me about a week working there to figure out it's not what I want to do. And I've been there for a year and a half. I want to help people. That's really what I, do, what I want to do with my life. But I don't want to put up with everything that I have to. I don't want to destroy my body. I don't want to destroy my sanity for the sake of others. Because at the end of the day, I have to take care of myself too. At the end of the day, I have to be happy. At the end of the day, I have to be healthy. And I'm not healthy, not by any means. I'm beat up, I'm sore all the time. I get sick a lot because I work at a hospital. It's, it's a petri dish of germs, illnesses. And I was about to accept that job. I was about to spend the next few years and tens and thousands of dollars to do a job that I didn't want to do 
because it would work. It would be successful. I was about to say goodbye to YouTube to be successful and not happy. We're pressured so hard pressured so hard to do a job that none of us want to do because it's needed and it's safe. And a lot of us end up giving up big dreams and compromise happiness for success and stability in life. And this wasn't the video that I was going to release today, but I needed to say it. Because the video that I was going to release today earlier was a farewell video. And frankly, I'm disgusted with myself for letting a more rational thought drive me down so hard that I was going to give up happiness. Because that's what society wants you to do. My point is that you should never compromise your happiness or a dream that truly makes you happy for something that's safe. Safe is boring. Safe is safe. There's no risk. In my job where people's lives are in my hands, I'm bored. I'm bored. It's the same every day. And I was going to accept that and give up a job that's different every day that I touch far more people than I do in my real job. I'm not happy with myself for that. And I apologize to every one of you that's stuck it out to this point in this video. Because I feel like I let you down too. YouTube isn't easy. It's hard grinding it's failure after failure after failure until finally something works I haven't found something that works yet and I still fail but I'm okay with that because in the end is what I want to do for a long time it's going to make me happy for a long time So thank you, each and every one of you who's watched the video up to this point. I want to know if you watched the video up to this point. So, thank you for sticking it out with me through all the good videos, the bad videos, and everything in between for supporting me through all of this and supporting a dream that I have. Thank you.